Hey guys, this is Natash. There's been a pair of games that have been competing lately. Overwatch versus Battleborn. Uh, my original plan was to just do a tweet storm about the differences, but I kind of came to the decision that I couldn't make these points better in a collection of 140 characters than I could in a video. You know, can't really make any eloquent points when you're limited to 140 characters per tweet. Now let's get started with a bit of background information about these games. Now both Overwatch and Battleborn exist in this emerging subgenre of first person shooters. It's been called hero shooters. Now some of the characteristics of hero shooters include classes defined by like specific characters, certain MOBA elements, and an emphasis on team cooperation. I'd say the earliest hero shooter would probably be Team Fortress, but that was long before there were enough hero shooters to actually codify what a hero shooter was, or even that there were hero shooters. So, with that background information, let's get a little more specific. What are these games? Battleborn is about an alliance of fighters from different planets, all trying to save the last solar system in the galaxy from an extra-dimensional threat, which is currently aided by a corrupt Imperium. But that alliance is pretty strained. At some point, every culture in the group has screwed over the other ones. Plus, among that group are traitors from that corrupt Imperium. So they're kinda already the enemy. This is our last chance to save Solus. We must not fail. We won't. <laughs> we might. Oh my god, shut up, please! Overwatch is about a multinational organization of super soldiers. Years before, there was a near-future robotic population rebelling against humanity. The Overwatch was established as a response to that to protect people until this was all, you know, calmed down, until this revolution was taken care of. Now, after that mission was accomplished, and the world was kind of trying to get back on its feet, the group didn't really have a goal left to fight for, and they ended up disbanding out of concerns that they were going to be the biggest threat people had to worry about. Didn't really help that the Blackwatch division, which focused on more covert operations, they were getting a little on the corrupt side. You know, think the premise for the movie, The Watchmen. Not the best movie out there, but it had a pretty nice backstory to it. So, talking about the backgrounds of these games kind of gets me to the first big difference. The story. Battleborn has a campaign where you fight on different worlds against the Varelsi creatures from another dimension and the generate, well, and or, the generate Imperium to save Solus, the last solar system. However, all the action in Overwatch's story was kinda in the past. We don't get to play through the Omnic Crisis. We don't get to play through any of these big battles. We just hear about them in a lot of like supplementary material and the web comics that they've been coming out with, or the videos. And it's cool, you know. The videos are pretty cool. 
But it's not the same as actually getting to play through it. There's a first big difference. Moving on from that, let's talk about the versus modes. Overwatch's versus modes are centered around capture or payload modes. Sometimes they'll mix and match. You know, sometimes you'll have to capture the payload. Sometimes you'll have to, like, just capture multiple points per round. Sometimes the match is just a couple of rounds. Okay, capture this point. Okay, capture this point. But it's still basically capture or payload. Now, the central mechanic of Overwatch is changing up your team's composition as the needs of the match change. You know, you're not always going to need two snipers guarding a point. If they're escorting a payload, you might not need a tracer. You know, maybe that need is being filled by someone else. And Overwatch is centered around letting you change that at any point. And as for balance, each character is balanced because it's easy to change to a different character. So you can easily change to someone who's strong against whoever is giving you trouble. So like, if you're getting hunted down by this one tracer, you can switch to Roadhog and just completely ruin her day. Now Battleborn on the other hand has three modes. Incursion, Capture, and Meltdown. Meltdown, it's my personal favorite. During the course of the match, your character gains levels, which grants them passive boosts. Also, during the course of the match, you can build structures like turrets, trap towers, accelerators. You can't change characters mid-match. But the characters are balanced with enough utility that no character is ever useless. You know, there's always some use for a character. But you do have to stick through it. With, like, throughout the whole match. Incursion and Meltdown. Those two modes are heavily influenced by the MOBA genre, with teams escorting waves of minions to specific endpoints, so you're kind of encouraged, instead of just killing the other players, you also kind of want to kill the minions, because that's the stuff that's actually going to lose you the game. Long story short, Overwatch doesn't have the PvE elements, Battleborn doesn't have the same PvP focus. Battleborn's characters are designed more for autonomy, Overwatch's characters are designed around team play. Both are drastically different in gameplay focus. Moving on to progression. Overwatch has player ranks that give you loot boxes every time you rank up. These loot boxes have skins, voice lines, emotes, and character spray cans. Battleborn has gear packs, which contain mostly gear, basically buffs that can be grouped into sets of three. You equip that set at the start of the match, and you can just activate the pieces of gear. Occasionally, these gear packs might have character skins, but those are pretty rare. Overwatch's loot boxes can be bought with microtransactions, 
Battleborn has no microtransactions. Also, on the subject of progression, in Battleborn you have to unlock most of the characters through either raising your command rank or completing some individualized challenge for each character. In Overwatch, all the characters are unlocked from the start. Kinda wouldn't really work if you had to unlock the characters, considering the fact that the characters are supposed to balance, balance each other out. Also, in case you're wondering, Battleborn does have more characters. Battleborn has 26 at the moment, since they just added Alani. Overwatch has 21. So, final verdict on the comparison between the two games. Stop comparing two completely different games. These games occupy two different spaces. One has a narrative, the other one's more focused on PvP. One has MOBA mechanics, one does not. And I get that the debate started before either game was out. Most people didn't get to play Battleborn's beta until, like, the really big streamers and YouTubers had already flooded Twitch and YouTube with the Overwatch beta. And most people didn't get to play the Overwatch beta until Battleborn came out. And yes, I'm still bitter about that. Point is, now both games are out. Now you can see the differences for yourself. So, my verdict, play the games yourself and come to your own conclusions. Don't just keep repeating, oh, these games are the same, because they're not. They're really not. Check the games out yourself. And come to your own opinion. And as for me, which one I prefer? Yes.